in this video we are going to see mod 8 counter so in order to count mod 8 8 counts we need three flip flops so 2 power 3 is uh, 8 bits so from 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 so that is what we have to design the flip uh, counter so for that we need three flip flops so let me paste three take a flip flop Now we have to connect all the JK to high output. So let's we'll do that. If all J's are connected and we give them to high power. Okay. Now uh, we have to give the clock signal. Only for the first JK flip flop, we give direct clock signal. So I just take the clock. Yes. Now the output of the first JK flip flop is given as a clock signal for the this, uh, second flip flop. Okay, now for this output, this second flip flop output is given as a clock signal for the yes. Now, so this is given. Now this connected here. This two is given as a clock for this. Now we have to see, the, in order to see the output, whether it is counting properly, we have to give the connection to Q. We have to connect it to the LED. So we'll see. Now we have to take this LED. Now, uh, this will count down. Now, if you want to count up, now we have to select the JK and uh, let me change it to falling edge. Then we we'll check the output. This one during the brightness is previously it was 0, 0, 0. Now, 0, 0, 1. The zero one zero three. That is the count three zero one one and one zero zero one zero one 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 zero. Okay. Again, start from zero. Now, if I want to count down, then I can select this and make this to be rising edge. Now we'll see how it works. It's all changed to zero, one, 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 then one, one, zero. That is six, it's six, and five, one, zero, one is five, and one, zero, zero is four, zero, one, one, three, one, zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, zero, one, one, and all zeros. 